Uh, Fuck with your soul like ether. Well, Teach you the king, you know you. Nah. God son across the belly. Lose. I prove you lost the. What you're hearing is a diss track. It's a kind of song that's used in hip hop where one artist might disrespect another artist. Hence the name diss. This particular song that you're hearing is uh, Ether, released by Nas in 2001, where he's dissing Jay Z. Now, I'm probably gonna get a copyright claim for this, but I don't care because there's a point that I'm trying to make with this. Now, a diss might also happen in the domain of YouTube. Two YouTubers might have a very public fight just to rack up millions of views because people love to watch that shit. Now, why am I saying all this? What's the point I'm trying to make? Way before all these media existed, way before there were disses in rap, there were disses on YouTube, there was dissing and name calling among Indian mathematicians. That's something I'm going to talk about today. Now, one example of this is what Brahmagupta said about Aryabhata. Ooh, burn. Now, if Aryabhata were alive, uh, when Brahmagupta wrote this, uh, he might have probably responded. The thing that I'm trying to say here is that these mathematicians were interesting, colorful people that had virtues and flaws. They had arrogance and humility. And if they were alive today, they would probably also have uh, interesting Twitter pages with lots of followers and they'd probably also be gangster rappers. Anyway, let's see what they were like. Now this video is gonna be the second in my series on Indian mathematicians. If you haven't seen the video I made on Aryabhata, you can check it out right here. This video is gonna cover the three most important mathematicians that came right after him. That's Paraha Mehra, Bhaskara and Brahmagupta. Now, uh, this video will only summarize their works because I don't want it to be two hours long. But if you want to learn in detail about these mathematicians, check out the sources I'm listing below. What I love about Varaha is how scientific he was. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for any amount of time, you know that sort of stuff is right down my alley. Now, he's known to have uh, advised his students to learn and verify the claims of existing works through observation. And anything he couldn't verify, he uh, attributes uh, that knowledge to the authors of those works. Varaha was a debunker of popular myths of his time. For example, the myth about Rahu causing the eclipses, he clarified it saying what actually causes the eclipses. Varaha is said to be one of the nine gems of the court of Vikramadzya, but there are sources that say this is not true. Uh, but if it were, he would have lived uh, somewhere in Ujjain. And he uh, lived in the 6th century, which makes him a contemporary of Aryabhata. But uh, there are no sources that confirm that these two people were acquainted. What did he do? Three main works, the Brihad Samhita, the Panchas Dantika and the Brihad uh, Jataka. The Brihad Samhita was like an encyclopedia on many topics ranging from astronomy to economics. He clearly knew a lot, but he doesn't claim credit for all this knowledge. In many places, he has credited the people that came before him, like Fridha Ganga, Parasara, etc. The Panchasiddhantika is a compilation of five astronomical works that were prevalent in his time. Of these, the Surya Siddhanta is a famous one and two of these works are of Western origin. He is said to have learned Greek for his commentary on these works. The Brihad Jataka is an astrological text that's heavily inspired by the Greeks. In fact, he uses slight variants of uh, Greek names uh, for the zodiac signs as the names of the Rashis. And if you've seen my video on astrology, uh, you know that's something that we got from the Greeks. Now, I know that uh, I'm aware that there are a lot of videos right here on YouTube that use the name of Varaha Mehra to promote a lot of astrology and I don't condone that at all. 
Now, here's a summarization of everything that I've said about Varaha Mira. Uh, you can either pause the video or take a screenshot because I'm going to move on to the next person in this list. Bhaskara 1 is known for being the first major commentator on the works of Aryabhata and there's a 1 next to his name because there's a Bhaskara 2 whom I'm gonna cover in another video and he's a giant when it comes to contributions to the world of math. Now Bhaskara 1 was extremely appreciative of Aryabhata, this is something he's known to have said and while Aryabhata's works were kind of cryptic and brief, uh, Bhaskara 1 does an excellent job of elaborating all these things and making lay people like us understand what Aryabhata said. In addition to this, he has also written works of his own, the Mahabhaskariyam, the Lagu Bhaskariyam and the uh, Aryabhata Bhashya. Uh, he has contributed uh, results in the field of uh, algebra, geometry, astronomy, uh, trigonometry, etc. And he is the first mathematician to use the Indian decimal system. He is known to have used digits to represent his numbers. Bhaskara 1 is known to have lived in a town called Wallabi, which is in present day Gujarat in the 7th century and uh, check out everything that he has done because I'm gonna now move on to the most important mathematician in this video. That's Brahmagupta is another contemporary of uh, Bhaskara 1. He also lived in the 7th century and he is known to have lived in the Marwa district of Gujarat but there's no indication that they knew of each other either. Now Brahmagupta is probably the most OG of all Indian mathem mathematicians and I'll talk about why that is in a second. He is well known for his works, uh, the Brahmasvada Siddhanta and the Khandakadika. Both uh, works give results in mathematics and astronomy. One popular result uh, that he gave was the area of a cyclic quad quadrilateral. And he gave this formula for finding that area. He is also known to have taught the Arabs astronomy. He gave important results in the fields of uh, algebra and arithmetic, including operations on, on uh, how to use zero uh, and many more other contributions. But what blows me away is the uh, way he criticized a lot of works that came before him. And his main adversary here is Aryabhata 1. These are just some of the discords that uh, he's known to have said against Aryabhata. For example, he disagrees with Aryabhata about the rotation of the earth. Aryabhata said that the earth was spherical and rotated about a fixed axis and this is what causes day and night. Uh, Brahmagupta argues that this couldn't be true because if it were, uh, then the birds wouldn't be able to return to their nests and the places that were upside down, the roofs and the hills would come falling down. Now we know today that this is wrong but we can't blame these people for uh, not having the methods and instruments that we do today. In addition to Aryabhata, he also criticized the Vedanga Jyotisha, uh, the Jain system and many other Indian mathematicians. And he also criticized some western works including Greek and Roman works. But the tables would turn on Brahmagupta as more mathematicians arrived later. Brahmagupta himself got criticized for his cyclic quadrilateral formula. He didn't explicitly state that this can only be applied to a cyclic quadrilateral. That's a kind of quadrilateral that can only be inscribed in a circle, not just any quadrilateral. And for this, uh, one future mathematician would call him Murko Pishajova, which means a fool or a devil. But that little thing is for a future video, the next video in my series on Indian Mathematician. Uh, more dissing and more name calling is gonna come up. So make sure you're subscribed. And uh, for now, I'm gonna summarize all that I've said about these mathematicians. 
Now, my main source for this video is this book, Indian Math and Astronomy by Dr. S. Balachandra Rao. But uh, this book, you cannot get an online copy. You'll have to buy it offline. For anyone that's interested, I leave uh, details in the description. And with that said, I'll see you in my next video. Till then, remember, science is dope.